But just to let you know, I do not know what I'm doing. I am not an expert. I'm just a homeowner trying to save $3,000. All right, y'all, so when we left off, I had just got the floors done, the toilet installed, the cabinets are installed, the tub I am finally finished with after crying so much and throwing full on toddler temper tantrums. It is now time for the more fun part. I'm going to be painting this cabinet as well as hanging up my mirror and we're going to get into some hardware talk at the end as well as showing you a budget on what we got going on so let's go ahead and get into this video but of course if you are new do not forget to hit that subscribe button you can check out our many other tutorials and blogs on our channel for this handyman clearance series and to all of my returning subscribers hey mama hey bestie hey friend it's nice to see you once again let's jump straight into it so here i am i'm hanging up my mirror i love the cabinets i love this tall pantry cabinet that we now have it is going to be a whole lot more extra storage for this hall bathroom because as of right now the only storage that i really have on this floor is a small linen closet so i wanted something that could hold at least towels and my daughter's personal care where it's not too cluttered and we're going to get into that later as well so right now i'm going in with my leveler and i'm trying to make sure i am centered this mirror is purchased off of amazon and to install it it only required one screw okay and since it's circle you don't have to worry about it like getting you know uneven or anything i just wanted to make sure it was centered to the light and the sink Calling it, it came with its own screw and it came with its own drywall screw as well. And I'm just screwing it in and kind of like testing it out. I did install it a little too short, but we're all short in my house, so I'm gonna make it work. We gonna make it work. But again, it only took one single screw, so I can always go back and make it a little bit higher but everybody in my house is five foot five and shorter, okay? We, we, we good. I can see me, we can see us. Anybody who come over and they tall, you gonna have to duck down to see yourself, but it's all right. There's another mirror in the hallway. We'll make it work for you. So the mirror was easy peasy piece of cake no time at all got that done and now it's time to move on to the cabinets so i'm taking off all the hardware because as you can see i have mismatched cabinets one's gray and one is white so i plan on painting it this nice thyme green color and the color is called dry thyme by sherwin williams i'm obsessed with all sherwin williams paints and colors so you can never go wrong now this ain't no sherwin williams ad it's just my preference so i'm taking off all the the doors and these are just held together by some simple screws all you have to do is unscrew them now you do want to make sure you keep the sets together so if you have a top set a hinge make sure you reinstall it on the top and not the bottom especially with these kind of doors they are kind of already set in place they've you know already been acclimated to that hinge that it can throw off the alignment of the doors by a centimeter and it can definitely look wonky and crazy and you don't want those issues so as you can see i'm placing my hinges inside the cabinet and i'm making sure that i keep the left side on the left side and the right door on the right side so now it's time to sand everything down i'm going in with my sanding block and this is just to kind of rough up the surface of those cabinets. These are laminated cabinets. So they have this kind of sheen and shine to them that can make the paint a little difficult to hold on to. So with me sanding it, roughing up that surface, it's going to help with the paint kind of being able to grip onto the cabinets now i'm also going to go in with a primer as well and the primer is a bonding primer to help hold that paint in place and i'm hoping that this will help with the longevity of my paint cabinets now i've painted my cabinets before this is not my first time doing it i did my kitchen a couple years ago and if you want to check out that tutorial i will have it linked up above for you to check out or you can check it out later just make sure you check out our handyman clearance playlist so to apply the primer I am going in with a regular paintbrush and I'm also going in with a foam roller. 
Now I have primed both of my cabinets. I did two coats because I want to make sure this was going to be durable for me. Now here is the paint that I am using by Sherwin Williams. And this is again in the color dry thyme. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous green. This year I have been obsessed with the color green in literally every freaking shade, bright, dark, medium forest green neon green like green has just really been my color and i don't know why i'm pretty sure it's some kind of influence but i am rolling with it and i love it so I had this idea for a green bold cabinet in this bathroom with the light colored walls and the colors play so well together. The nuance that is on the bathroom walls that the contractors painted for me has like this hint of green behind them. And with this dark green cabinet, it really brought out the green more in that nuance, but they complemented each other. And I loved that the most about it. And then having the dark accents of the hardware just really completed the space for me so right now i'm going in with a angle brush and as you can see i do not tape anything up i hate the prep for painting i love painting i hate the prep for it so when it comes to prepping your cabinets you're supposed to use that blue or that green painters tape tape everything off so you don't get it on the walls or on the floor or anything like that i would rather freehand now looking back on this project, once I was painting everything with that foam roller, I really wish I would have did the entire project with a paintbrush. I would have rather have the paint strokes in the paint rather than the bubbles. The bubbles was really bothering me, but I was already committed with the foam roller. Between each coat, I did wait at least two hours before I went back and reapplied the second coat. So this is an all day project. All right, so this is the footage for the next day and it looks really good. I'm testing to see how everything looks. There was only a couple of spots that I did need to kind of go back and touch up. But again, I decided to just go ahead and do an entire third coat on both the cabinets. So this is the third and last coat that I will be doing, but we are not finished just yet. So I do want to seal all this paint up because when I painted my kitchen cabinets, I had noticed that probably about three, four months in that they did start to fade peel and scratch away we are a very active family my kitchen is a very active kitchen I have three children a husband I cook almost every day so this is also going to be a very active bathroom so to seal in the paint I am going to do a top coat using a clear satin finish polyurethane which you just apply on and allow it to cure and dry for at least two days so we're following up on the third day now everything has dried i wanted to wait at least 24 hours before i go in and start adding in the hardware i didn't want to scuff anything up because the paint hasn't really been settled in yet it takes it at least a week for the paint to be completely cured but it was completely dry enough for me to put the hinges back together now i have my cabinet pulls installed we are going to go ahead and finish installing the rest of the hardware. And I use a Craig system to do my cabinet pulls. I messed up on that first one, so that's why there was a hole there that I have to plug up. So on the next video, we're gonna talk about more of installing the hardware and the last finishing touches of this bathroom. So we can go ahead and end this horrifying, brought out, long and extended bathroom remodel that put me to shame, gave me pure tears. But I'm glad we are now in the home stretch and we are finally in the easy part of this installation. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another Handyman Clearance vlog. We greatly appreciate having you here. Do not forget to check out the Handyman Clearance playlist on our YouTube channel for more remodeling vlogs where I know absolutely nothing of what I am doing. I am just working on hope in a prayer. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.